Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? It is time for your reading for the beginning to mid of July of this current year. Boop, 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 boop. How are y'all doing today? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a Thunderdome reading, but the layout's going to be definitely different. Well, I guess you guys are doing just mighty fine. This is going to be your side. This is going to be a person you're dealing with. This is what happens if you guys approach each other. Cross watchers, you can switch stuff around and everybody else will like. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. This is, after all, a card game. Like, no need to get all ippity about it, but we're going to look at what's going on with y'all, right? Right. So, Aquarius, you're coming up first. We got for you. Wanting to come together with somebody or come in the union with someone. Could be Sagittarius. Um, but you're still pretty much fine on your own. Like, you, you make your own money. You're doing your own thing. You look good while you're holding back, like, your vices and your darkness. You're not, you're, you're not biting people's heads off because you don't have to. You're pretty, your beauty just makes people shudder in fear. Or whatever it is I'm trying to say. I don't know. Anyway. Um, you definitely want to come out of a bad mind state. Or whatever it is that's bugging you a little bit. Um, but you feel like time's being wasted. You're losing something valuable here. And you don't want to take a leap of faith because of that. Um, you might be feeling a bit like a martyr, but it might not be working in your favor either. And there could be some more secrets, deceptions, illusions with the moon card. It could be Pisces or a Cancer. See what your person you're dealing with is doing, right? Okay, so let's see. This person is sitting there looking back on everything, waiting for his harvest to arrive. But it's not like he really worked on anything about it. So there was a lot of bad karma and unfairness that came in. To the point where like, they took their fruitful whatever to a buffalo. Like they, they turned their back on you and went to a buffalo. You'd be like, this buffalo treats me better than you. And in reality, it's kind of like, really? Because I could beat your ass right now and not even feel bad about it since you want to open your mouth up and shit. Now, they're not really taking anything into consideration and they're not recovering from anything in order to face you just yet either, Aquarius. So let's see, what else is going on with you? I feel like they're kind of scared of you, but that's reasonable enough. <laughs> like, that's reasonable. Um, you're trying to be really decisive here, but there is a tower moment present. Either you're being decisive with how the tower goes down and whatnot, but you're definitely just watching this shit happen right in front of you. But I also feel like you're kind of involved with it as well. Especially with that Queen of Swords right there. Like, you're making the decision to let the tower be struck. Because you're very much unsatisfied with how the situation has really gone. But you still want to take action towards this person to fuck them up. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, the chariot reverse, you want to, um, I feel like you want to just go in and fight, but you're not really concentrating on, like, you know, how you're going to win a battle. You just want to go in and start swinging, and it's like, no. No, no, that's not, no. Like, you could also be dealing with a cancer somewhere as well who's like, um, acting very vindictive and unfair, like grudge holding. Hmm. But I do feel like you're kind of going into this without really a plan. Which is something you're good at, but at the same time, I don't know if that's going to work for you. Um, you just want the peace of mind to possibly be a motherly figure. You could be a mom, or you could just want that contentment and peace of mind. Possibly from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, just being in with your emotions. But, yeah, okay, maybe 
it just didn't work out the way you thought it would. Still third party situations leading to breakups, bitches talking, such like that, right? Let's see what this person's doing. They are watching you, either watching you or watching somebody else walk away. Like, either you bested them and that made them just walk. Right? And they're facing the future, but they're really not offering their cup up to anybody right now. I feel like they, hmm. Yeah, they're just pretty much, like, stuck on how bad they feel about themselves, I think. Or I think that way about you. One of the two. They still dream about the relationship that might come somewhere. But it's like they don't want to face the tower because, like, they want to keep their security. They don't want to feel like they have to face anything of any sort of... I almost feel like consequence. But it's like you're allowing it to happen. Almost like to make a point. They, yeah, they just want to keep on keeping on with the control because you know it just it, they don't know how to be anything else let's see what you guys what happens when you guys approach each other what happens when you two approach one another Um, nothing can get started because someone's still being selfish. Could be this person since it's facing you. Uh, you still have issues with this person that you, you can't get over because on that side they spilled the cups and on your side there's still something there. And this person feels like there's no other options when it comes to like facing you but to like honestly face you. Um, yeah, because they can't make anything else happen without you, I think. That's their whole gist. So they've come to the decision that they want to, like, unload this burden. Because it's just too much for them to take. And it has something to do with you. Uh, but they think they're going to just sneak in. Like, okay, whatever. Just be like, no one's going to notice. Someone notices. Someone notices. Someone notices, and I think nips it right in the bud. I think it's you, Aquarius, who nips it in the bud. I'm not sure, but it's just kind of like you know, like like you're, it's like you're trying to put in a good fight, but then you make then this person makes you want to fight everybody. I'm not sure if that's good, but mm. what's the outcome for this? They're going to run back towards you because they just don't feel safe in themselves or they just don't feel like they're a match for themselves or they just don't feel like they have their identity. They want to resurrect things. They're hoping it's a good idea with you. They're really trying to take some action in this because they really care about what happened in the past. Yeah, they're all on you, Aquarius. They're all on you. I'll we'll, we'll probably say whatever they can. Even go to the point of making you unhappy in order to get whatever they want with their baggage and shit. Be careful with that. Alright. That was your reading for the beginning to the mid-July, Aquarius. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Like, share, and subscribe if that's what you wish to do. I love your all's faces. You have a beautiful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.